This example demonstrates the Commotion CNC screen editor adding a jog speed control. The screen editor was used to add an edit control where the operator may enter the desired jog speed. We've also added a label above the edit control. If we enter a value of 50 inches per minute, we can see the jog buttons move at a speed of 50 inches per minute as indicated by the feed rate indicator. If we enter a value of 100 inches per minute, we can see that the speed now moves at 100 inches per minute. Notice we have the, the slow speed jog button set at 25%, so pushing those causes the speed to go at 25 inches per minute. If we enter a jog rate of 200 inches per minute, we now see that the jog speed only goes at 120 inches per minute. That's because the maximum speed set in the tool setup is 120 inches per minute. Millimeter mode is also supported. If we select our units to millimeters and we enter a reasonable millimeter feed rate so our slider functions properly and we were to say enter a 1000 millimeter per minute jog rate. Now we see that the jog rate is 1000 millimeters per minute, 50% of the set feed rate. The screen editor additions are very simple. We've added one edit control here, which is of type label. It has a tooltip setting, and it has a var identifier as number 170 that will be accessed by a C program. And we also have a simple label to label the edit control. Now we have the C program which reads the edit control, converts it to a jog rate override, handles the units, limits the range, sets the jog override for each of the axes. We have these definitions here as the max speed for each axis. Those must match the trajectory planner maximum jog speeds here. 2 inches per second is 120 inches per minute. Y is 120 inches per minute. And Z is only 60 inches per minute. Again, we have a main loop that loops forever to update the jog speeds every half a second by calling this function. The first thing it does is read the edit control value from edit control number 170. If there's any error in the conversion, like the guy just typed invalid characters, then we just don't do anything in return. The next thing we determine whether in, we're in millimeters or inches mode by getting the miscellaneous settings from Commotion CNC, which includes the units. If the units are millimeters, we take the value and divide it by 25.4 because all the code works in inches, not millimeters. Next, we have a utility helper function that we call for each of the axes. We pass the desired feed rate divided by the max feed rate for the axis to give a ratio. And we pass the corresponding command that we're going to send to Commotion CNC to set the override for that axis. That calls this function, which takes the ratio and checks to make sure it's between 0 and 1 and limits it to that range. And then it sends it to uh, Commotion CNC. 
and that's repeated for each of the axes. That's it.